Hello everyone, this is Ian Lamont, author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create an online form using Google Forms, which is part of the Google Drive suite. And if you're wondering what an online form is, basically it's like a survey form or it's a web page with fields that you can enter information into. And for instance, here's a form that I created that asks about certain types of books you might find on Amazon. So you could fill in the title of the book, um, the author of the book, how many other books has this author written, or right, I'd say 11 or more, and just go down through all the fields and then uh, hit submit. And then the information would be available uh, to you to review later on. So you could have 100 people to use this form and then they'd be able to submit their information. And I've seen people use these types of forms for um, scheduling purposes, to gather names, all kinds of surveys. So it's a very flexible thing to use. And in the past, you might have had to either had technical skills or maybe used a special service such as SurveyMonkey to create a form. But uh, Google Forms is quite good and it's integrated not only with Google Drive, but also with Google Sheets, which means that the information goes into a spreadsheet which you can manipulate further. Anyways, let's get started with creating a very simple form. There's a couple ways to do it, but the way that I prefer is to go to Google Drive at drive.google.com, click New, and then go to More at the bottom and select Google Forms. Okay, so it will create a blank form for you. The interface has changed a bit. When Google Forms was first launched, it looked a bit simpler than this. Maybe the design wasn't as sophisticated, but the basic idea is the same. You have a title for the form. I'm going to call this Pet Preferences. I can click there and it will be saved there. And then share your preferences, oops, preferences for pets. Okay, so when Google creates this template for you to use, there's a, a default question, untitled question. So, which do you prefer? You just click on it and start typing. All right, option one, cats. Okay, and scroll down. Option two, dogs. And then the third option is going to be other. All right, so I've made it multiple choice, but if I wanted to, I could select another type. There's check boxes. So maybe some people, they like cats and dogs. Let's see what happens. When, yeah, so this would mean that people can choose any one of these three, or you can choose a short answer, so people would have to write it out. So maybe they might say the, uh, you know, the, the breed of the dog or the cat, or they might say rabbit or fish or whatever. But I, I like multiple choice, so we've gotten that out of the way. So I have that, and I want to add another question below it. Add question. Do you own a pet. Okay. Again, I'm going to say multiple choice. First one will be yes. Second one will be no. All right. And then maybe add a third one other because sometimes people, there are some special circumstance, you know, maybe they, they own a pet, but it's at their parents' house or whatever. And then note that I, I can make this required or not required. I'm going to make this one required. If I wanted to get rid of the question, I'd just say, get rid of it. And that's my basic form. So now all I need to do to publish it is basically to click this button. It looks like a paper airplane. Click send. And that means I can email it to somebody. I can get a link, make it a short link, okay? Or I could embed it inside a WordPress blog or some other sort of website. And I've seen lots of people do this. So this is a really neat mechanism to create a survey. And then later on, you can examine the, the responses. And I'm going to create another video that describes how to take a look at the responses and what you can do with it. But for the time being, this is basically how you create a form in Google Forms. And if you check out my book, Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, I have a short chapter on using Google Forms as well as Google Sheets, which is a spreadsheet program that allows you to uh, slice and dice the results inside of Google Sheets. So for any more information or questions, check out my series at in30minutes.com and thanks so much for watching.